Hello, welcome to this podcast. I would like to start the podcast by introducing our guest. Could you please introduce yourself? Yes, for sure. I really like to introduce myself. My name is Aisha. I'm 27 years old, but it's hard to say because I really feel like I'm 23. <laughs> I think I look like 23, uh, but yeah, I'm 27, almost 28. Uh, anyways, it's my topic. Uh, I'm from Turkey. Uh, I live in this language. Um, I graduated from international relations. So I'm working for uh, an uh, illustration about uh, ecology. Yeah. Okay. What do you do in the time remaining from your volunteering projects? Well, actually, I had a lot of time to do something like. Um, Hanging out with friends, uh, searching for another projects or volunteering services. Also, I would like to walk around because you know Croatia is really a beautiful country. Like their nature uh, is amazing, and in my city we have a lake, and most of the time I was walking around the lake and being with my friends. And also, I uh, have a chance to improve my uh, skills about the things that we'd like and um, wish for some kind of uh, skills, but you know, marketing or analyzing, I don't know, I just need to do something because I love every time. Yeah. Let's come. Next question. Do you learn creation language? If you are absolutely yes, yeah, what learning methods do you use? Uh, <laughs> actually, I couldn't. Um, it was hard for me because I am getting uh, confused easily about learning English. Uh, learning different languages, not only English, but because I have some kind of issue, so. When I try to learn and find it to use another brain language at the same time, it's making me so uncomfortable. And also, you know, Croatia, Croatian language has a different sound and monographs, and I couldn't hear it. So I couldn't. Also, I felt I'm not pressure about learning innovation. I I mean not in a bad bad way, but just the people around me they said like, oh, you are in your own six months, you should be doing some the same thing. Because it means I mean, what can I do? <laughs> I can try to do my best, but um, my project is only use the OLS, we you know online language system. Yeah. It's not effective. I mean, um, I can learn something for creation. Um, I can do <laughs> Where did you hear about ESP and how did you decide to apply? Um, when I was studying international relations, um, I realized non governmental organizations or the kind of projects are um, effective for the world. And I wanted to change something because I knew uh, I need to do it. And volunteer projects, especially volunteer projects, projects are important because of the kind of situation. And I started to search like my like, 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 so like, so I started to work with people, so I started to work with and I to I started to to I started to I to I to I to I to Cool. Uh, where do you volunteer and 
other new volunteering project about? Mm. I was volunteering with uh, Malaysia Ubuntu Zagor. Uh, that organization is in uh, Zagori County and are kind of organization because they have great support, news, and organizations all around Zagori they can use that place. Um, so we are like a main place down town. The next question is about Yankee. Uh, yeah, because it was in Japan and the world is very small. We don't have 8,000 people. And the next one is more effective for Yankee. So I'm going to talk about the state of Yankee doing social rights. So we have a lot of different editors. Online magazine, online magazine, and I was searching for text from the Google and from our And also, we had also a place project that I was trying to find inspired stories from people. But we had a real time, we had a time to have. In kind of not so like outside or friends or uh, So we were going to post books and basically as an episode of the project because it's great to make our taste and also to do a job. <laughs> My project was something <laughs> like that. It's great. This is your first volunteering experience, or have you volunteered before? Uh, actually, it's my first volunteering uh, experience in that world. Uh, before I was volunteering in Greenpeace, and I uh, learned. Out of thing, and I feel comfortable because uh, if you're watching for something, you have to see the uh, people try to do for uh, like, for example, climate change or uh, animal safe or human rights, human rights. So, uh, when you do the kind of watching, it's a different life. Um, I said something, uh, I had a kind of volunteering experience. What's the importance of volunteering for you? Um, can I start in why child law fighting the kind of problems? Um, I felt like um, no one cares. People just live their lives and all this is getting worse and worse. But when you start to be older, you can see you are not alone, you are trying to change something, and you have some kind of power. And we need to learn how to use that. Uh, so this is important. And also, I want to take this really because society because in society, people, this is the like, uh, sometimes people are see all the people, sometimes we can see uh, the laws, and, you know, I don't know how to explain that, but uh, I mean, uh, we have a lot of differences in society, and we need to be here. For everyone, and want to help more people in the society. Uh, could you tell us a little bit about the difficulty of your experience during the project application process? Um, not the application process, it wasn't hard because I was always searching for projects or I was. Uh, Familiar to write motivational letters, but here 
I mean, when I came to Croatia, it was Christmas time and it was my first Christmas and it was more welcome, like, um, it felt really special, like, the main character of my life and um, it was cute and um, kind of the and easier, of course, you just have uh, to experience it. Um, in general, I couldn't say Yes, also because of but you know, after she was in and it was tough for me to be so clumsy and that really simply and this the cycle is going on. So, Sometimes I felt really alone. I don't know, I think it's okay to feel alone and say you're happy, you're happy, you're kind of alone, right? But if you are in another country and feel like alone, it's hard to try to come to the lady or day. Yeah. Well, of course, it's not that easy to experience that kind of things. Uh, <laughs> but now I know can uh, do kind of things all around me. I know myself in a different uh, environment, and I know my reactions, I know that the risk of which I <laughs> okay. Um, what are the contribution of volunteer project to volunteers? Hmm. Actually, they express love, like uh, the abroad, which is the first thing, of course. But on the other hand, okay, it's voluntary, but it's like. Uh, Full time, maybe almost full time, or some kind of project. So you have has and you need to work with people, and environment, or situation environment, or if you are interested in doing project. Also, for a lot of parents, about parents. So, I think it's 
Actually, it's, uh, it's not because uh, I live in Izmir and my son is organization is also in Izmir and I knew that before because of that kind of project. But uh, they always said, like, we need to add light before, um, we need to send the email to us before we add light project. Uh, I said, okay, and then they it wasn't, but I said, okay, we will help you, and we will be some organizations. It was easy. Do you know any words related to the creation language? Uh, if you want to read the ad, which words do you know? Uh, <laughs> yes, I know a lot of, uh, of course my favorite is, okay, <laughs> 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 you know, but I mean Turkish, <laughs> Um, it's funny uh, when I uh, was in Croatia and everyone said, like, mom, <laughs> and, Yeah, I was still laughing as an eight years old boy. Uh, yeah. Also, Cruz and Kikiriki. I mean, they, it's funny and yeah, I know I do a lot of work, but, but yeah. <laughs> Do you know the common words in Turkish and Croatian? Mm -hmm. I, knew, I know a lot and uh, I really like this my room, Kiyos, Samaj, what else? <laughs> I don't know the technique for this language. I actually, I can't remember now the words which I know they are common, but yeah, I remember that. Great. Uh, this is last question. Would you like to participate uh, in a project again? What would you like the subject of the project to be? Mm -hmm. Actually, I would like to apply another project. Um, uh, I think uh, I thought I'd apply about climate change because I feel part of that moment and I think I have a strong background about it. So it would be great to do something all around the world because also we need to take action about it. So I like to apply kind of work. Also I found a chance to to associate change and I realized it change and some policies programs are also great uh opportunity for young people and also I'm looking for um to an assist project to apply. Well, would you like to add something? Mm -hmm. uh, thanks for having me. Uh, I did not find just to think about my project for a long time. And then after that project, uh, now I have a chance to uh, remember what happened. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you for sharing your experience.
I hope you enjoy making a really wonderful and you will have an unforgettable experience with your project. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>